KFA has been around since 1993. So we have over 28 years of bush plane experience and engineering to build the strongest bush plane possible. There are three different models, one being the Bush Baby, one being the Explorer, which is what you see right here, and one being the Safari. So the two that are gonna be available in the States are the Explorer and the Safari. Now with the KFA Explorer being the first one that will be available in the US, let's go over the options of this plane. We'll be selling the KFA Explorer as a kit, so experimental amateur build, also as an ELSA, and we're working towards our certification for an SLSA in the American market. So with the KFA Explorer, you have a myriad of different engine options. First being the Rotax 912 UL, which is the 80 horse engine, and that would be the smallest engine that would go in this plane. The next step up is the ULS, which is the Rotax 100 horsepower engine. Above that, we have the 914, uh, 115 horse. The Rotax 80 and 100 horsepower engines are available with a KFA turbo option. With the KFA turbo option on the 80 horse, that bumps it up to 122 horses. And on the ULS, it goes up to 135 horsepower. There is no weight difference in the 122 horsepower and the 135 horsepower engine. Now with this aircraft, there are various propeller options depending on which category you will be flying in. So currently, to stay within the LSA weight restrictions, the max size tire is this 27.5 inch Aeroclassic tire with an 8 inch rim. So KFA has completely moved away from the bungee system and we're now offering standard our KFA Buffalo suspension. So with our planes, all of the aerodynamic stall enhancements come standard. So as you can see here with our stall fence on the wing and our VGs, they will come standard with our kits and our production built planes. All right, so this Explorer has the IVO prop. Uh, it is ground adjustable, but it's a very quick ground adjustable prop. We also have our KFA Buffalo suspension. Now this suspension is a KFA exclusive. It's something that we offer and we put it, put it through rigorous testing and it works amazing. Obviously you can see our big bush wheels here. Uh, these are 27.5s and they'll take, take in any, any terrain you wanna go in. Um, we also have our stall fences right here. Uh, beautiful matched with the color paint of this. Here's our flapper on system. It spans the wing. More stall fences back here. Uh, and then some aesthetics, which look really nice. As you can see, our trim tab. Another stall fence. Everything's labeled really nice. As you can see, that's where you lift from. Very easy to move around and put it in your hangar, which is a big deal. Let me take you around this side. Here's your pedo and your static port. So let's go through the switches. Here's your Challenger Light IEFIS. It'll start cycling on. Radio, intercom, transponder, trim, nav, strobe, USB to charge your phone. Autopilot, we'll leave that off for now. Your landing lights, your cabin light, which is back here, and then also your tank lights. Now that's one of my favorite features of the KFA Explorer, and it's on the other models as well. Um, no more guessing at how much fuel you have and trying to rock the plane. You can see exactly how much you have. Um, as you can see here on the Challenger light, and this is MGL, everything's touchscreen and interactive. Very intuitive. I mean, it's uh, you could even set the sensitivity of how you how you touch it and how it reacts. Same thing over here on your radio. It is all touch screen. Go in there. You're able to set up anything you want. Um, and then on your intercom, it is Bluetooth. So when I get in the plane with my iPhone, you hear a noise in your headphone. 
headphones, auto, automatically connects, and listen to your favorite podcast, listen to your favorite music. It's uh, it's really a nice feature. And um, then obviously you have our Modus transponder here, your electric trim, and then here's your fuel pump. Fuel pump nicely has a cover over it. We keep it open right there. Throttle, and this is a vernier throttle, so you can just slightly put it in, slightly put it out, or go full in, full out, and then your choke. Uh, at KFA, we take safety incredibly serious. You can see our four-point harness system right here. And these, while they may look like thick seat belts, they're actually incredibly lightweight. Um, and it is a four-point harness with an option for a fifth. Um, and then our nicely KFA Kit Planes for Africa embroidery on the seats. And like I mentioned on our USB switch up here, we do have a USB port. Um, there's a couple of different options here. You can just use a standard USB, and we also have a USB-C option. Um, plug in your iPhone, your iPad, whatever you need to. Uh, something else I want to point out is uh, another KFA safety factor, our fire extinguisher right here. Now, this is uh, obviously very important, and it comes standard.